how I change my oil is pretty routine. Like I said, I, I buy my oil in the big boxes. The Jeep uses, I think, 5W20. So I got a big box over there, 5W20. I always add engine restore to my Jeep. I add a whole can of that. This is for eight cylinders. So I add about a can of that for a V6. I always put maybe a half, half a bottle of this in, but I mix it inside of this container here. So I'll mix it into my container with my oil, restore, Marvel Mystery Oil. And then I'll grab one of these. These are all full. This is for the Jeep here. So this is a brand new one for the Jeep. This one's for the Audi. This one's for the BMW. Cadillac doesn't get driven that much, so it gets its own special treatment. But mix everything you got inside. Don't, don't pay attention to that. This is just an empty bottle that I use to mix. So I'll take my W20. I'll fill it up about halfway, add some mystery oil. Add a little bit of that for the Jeep, but I don't do it for this one. Just mix it all together. And there you go. Pour it in. Here we go. We're out here about to do an oil change. Already popped the top off a second ago. But there's your oil filter way in the back. Back there, that little piece back there. Let me see. That's your oil filter. So I think you need like maybe a, I don't know, probably a three-fourths or a 20 millimeter to a three-fourths or something like that. You can get that cap off to change the oil. Spark plugs are pretty easy. So here you go. One, two, three, four. A little four-cylinder inline. So then all you got to do is, you know, get you a star head, pop those off, take the adapters off or whatever. I mean, you could do your spark plugs. It might take you 15, 20 minutes. This car looks so easy to work on. It's like a race engine. Thing is just coming to the pits, swap everything out, and you're good to go. The belt is tucked in back behind that cover right there, but it shouldn't be too hard to get to. I'll swap the belt out one day. To get the oil filter off, I used a 1 and 1 16th. I don't know what they use in Germany, but I used a 1 and 1 16th. I'm draining the oil now, but to actually get to the oil, you got to, you know, once you jack the car up, you'll see this little plate up under there. It says open and close on it. As you can see, it says open and close. But that little plate is actually right there it'll be on that hole right there i mean it's so easy to change the oil on this thing super easy like i said you'll see the little open and close put your two fingers in those holes right there and just turn it it's like it'll have to snap in place because those little raised pieces there but you just turn it it'll open pop it off you've got a bolt inside of there that little bolt right there sitting on the ground uh, let me see what size that is i don't know what size i used yeah, I thought I used like a 17, but it's a, I can't even see, 11 sixteenths. So I use an 11 sixteenths for that one. But like I said, oil's draining, looks pretty yucky. Time is now three o'clock. So that took me about 30 minutes. Now, had I not videoed and everything, it would have probably took me about 15 minutes change the oil on this bmw but there you go i mean the cover's all back on everything's set to go you know it says twin power turbo not twin turbo twin power turbo that's tricky people always say hey is this a twin turbo no there's a single turbo over here on this side but it says twin power don't know why they call it twin power turbo but there's one turbo on this thing but that was it i mean if you want to change the oil in the you know 2019 bmw 330i it says five and a half quarts is what you're going to use. I use about five because I added some other stuff to it. So I'm right around five. But I only had four and a half quarts when I just drained it. So it was running a little low, even though it didn't indicate it on the inside. There you go. My night's over. It's time to go drive this thing at 3 a.m.